Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome back to your daily dose. Okay. Oh, all right, we clearly have a lot of mail again. Thank you. Which comes at a perfect time. First of all, do you guys know a vlogger named Casey Neistat? Back in the day, about like six years ago, he used to post daily and he always used to do peel unboxings. And that's when I kind of first um, got the ambition to get a peel box as well. Or more so the idea on how that can incorporate all of us together. It's the coolest thing ever. And I know a lot of you guys, for some reason, don't like the slurping sound. So I think I'm gonna change it to something else. I don't know what it is, I'll find something, but that's what it is. <laughs> I feel like we could, at this point, become a PO unboxing channel. There's some of them out there, and like I just obviously, I, I like to watch it, just see how other people do PO unboxing as well, because I find it entertaining. But thank you everybody uh, for sending some more things to their PO box. I have a feeling a lot of this is gonna have to do with Christmas. I know I was either debating on opening it with my dad when he comes here, for Christmas, but a lot of you guys were like, nah. So I decided to elect to do it today and maybe we'll see if we get some more things and we can incorporate my dad when he gets here. I don't know, it's a stretch, but we'll see. Also, remember, tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow's the big surprise. At least tomorrow is getting filmed and then it's being uploaded on Friday. Well, that is tomorrow, because tomorrow for you is Thursday. Well, tomorrow for me is Thursday, but tomorrow for you is Friday. Cool. Yeah, if you guys don't, you might get a little sneak peek on my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow my Instagram, I highly suggest following my Instagram. Amazon fulfillment. Also, did you guys see that the, like Amazon the other day had like a huge power outlet? Power outage, there's the one I was looking for. Well, Amazon wasn't working anywhere. <gasps> We've got a Hallmark ornament. Oh snap, I love how I opened it. You guys could see it and I could see what it was in the back, but obviously we've got Jack. It's gonna go on, uh, I actually have some room here, but we also wanna decorate the tree in the living room as well. Thank you whoever sent this. When you guys send it from like an Amazon fulfillment, it doesn't say any name. Bill and Cody Simpson. <gasps> there is a uh, Bill and Cody, everybody. We got their Christmas card. Thanks guys, is that a golden? No, what, what kind of dogs are those? Are those labs? I think those are labs, right? Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> um, it's a good thing someone just sent me this because I may need something to open this, but these are box cutters. Also, obviously I'm filming this on Wednesday. Today's the day the new Warzone Caldera comes out. A lot of you guys know I'm huge into Call of Duty, but more recently I've been big into Halo. So that actually starts in about an hour and a half. Awesome. Got my very first pair of a box opener. I think the last time I used this, I used to work at Disney. Another box from our good friend, Victoria. It's so much easier. So thanks whoever sent this, because that was the easiest box I've opened in years. Merry Christmas. Holy cow. Whoa. Wow. This is actually one of the coolest cards I've ever gotten too. Kyle, wishing you all the magic of Christmas, Victoria. Where did you get this? Even the envelope is themed to Disney. Oh, wow. We've got all of the photos that um, when we met. She also met my dad. The cool thing is, watch this one, look at this. Clown noses. And we got their Christmas card as well. Merry Christmas, guys. Today I asked for an extra shot in my caramel macchiato. I think that was a mistake. And inside, got one, two, three, four, five nicely wrapped gifts. Totally uh, forgot to press the record button because I had to leave my room for a second, but we got a Dash ornament. But fun fact about Dash is he, uh, well not he, but the name Dash, that's what I want to name my dog whenever I get a dog. I don't have a dog yet, but. Maybe soon. Could be what the surprise is, you never know. I don't know, find out tomorrow. What do we have here? What do we have? Oh boy, we got a hanging ornament with the initial K. That's that's my initial. Ornament inside. Oh snap, you went all out. Check that out, it's us. <laughs> Where the heck did you get that made? I really dig this wrapping paper though. It feels like a coaster. Oh my God, I'm smart. Thanks for this coaster. <laughs> So when I met them, um, I, 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 I complimented her dad. And I was like, yo, your dad's got some nice cologne. Obsession, I guess, his his cologne. So thanks, Victoria. Oh, snap. This is the one thing I forgot to get this year. And again, it's got my initial. Did you like custom make this or something? I think I'm going to hang this actually up here right now. I think right there is a good spot for it. Uh, Maybe not, uh, where should I put that? Thank you, Victoria and family. I really, really appreciate you guys' generosity and Merry Christmas. Ooh, the Goldsworthy family. 
heck? Yeah, where do you guys find all this stuff? We've got another ornament with K. Love that, love that. The Goldsworthy's letter. We got KP. Ooh, this is so interesting. Look at that one. I don't think I've ever had an ornament with water in it. What does it say? Be jolly. This is definitely a jolly ornament. Thanks, Goldworthy's. The Berry family. We've got a Christmas card. We have got a Christmas card. You guys are Kansas City fans. Come on now. You guys barely beat the Packers, just barely. Merry Christmas, guys, and I'm jealous of your dogs. Nice card. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love your content, Jessica. Well, thank you, Jessica. This is a beautiful card. Merry Christmas. We've got ornaments here, one for Jojo, one for us. Haley can't come to Disney often, so she enjoys watching our videos here. It's definitely green and yellow and white for the Packers. Love it, it's a rainbow. She didn't say if she made these. I don't know if she made these, but they just definitely look custom made. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Best wishes from Julia Jones. That's a nice name, Julia Jones. Viewer in the, in the UK, they'll be back September 2022. But there is something I do wanna talk about for next big adventure. Kyle, we hope you have a Merry Christmas. We sent you something from Shop Disney but weren't able to put who they were from. Be on the lookout. Anchor and the Millsaps. Heck yeah, good to see you guys. I love you guys. Fun fact, the Millsaps, were the very first family to uh, say hi to me with a clown nose. I'll never forget that. <laughs> we got a Packer ornament, baby. It's Santa on a uh, football sleigh, you see that? Heck yeah, or is that Aaron Rodgers? It's got Packers on the back. Obviously, the Packers are most likely going to make the playoffs. Would you guys like to see me go to as many play playoff games as they possibly want, as they possibly like, you know, win? Or there's obviously gonna be one game. I'm gonna be going to that game, and if they keep on winning, I'll probably follow them up until the Super Bowl, just because I feel like this is Aaron Rodgers last year, and I don't know. We haven't even been to an NFL game on our channel. Let me know if you guys want that, because I think I'm gonna bring that to you. That had no name on it. Ooh, this is a fancy envelope. Merry Christmas. Here is to another 100K followers in the new year. That would be crazy. Should we make that our goal next year to get 200,000? We've got a Kakamora? Kakamora? What's a Kakamora? This is from Amy Wong. What's a Kakamora? These are characters in Moana. Okay guys, I'm a huge Disney fan, but I'm terrible, terrible with characters. <gasps> Lisa, Merry Christmas, Lisa. And Lisa said that she ran, she's a new, new viewer and she just randomly came across my channel. How did you guys find my channel? I'm actually, that's like a question that I always really wanna know. Did you get referred or did it like pop up in your YouTube feed? Well, let me know, cause that kinda like helps me, you know, just understand how the whole YouTube works. And it's always interesting to kinda know your guys' stories. I mean, if you remember and feel like commenting down below, but um, how'd you guys find my channel? We've got this big kahuna one. I'm gonna save it for last. This one intrigues me. Rightfully so. Now we have to go to a Packers game, and I feel like, yeah, I should put this up there too, right? Well, this is gonna take more than a second. This is probably gonna take like 10 minutes. Cause I'm short, okay? I saw some of your guys' comments on my video. I'm 5'7", I actually had a broken back growing up and it stunted my growth. Um, so yeah, I was supposed to be 5'11", but I lost um, obviously a lot of height because of, of that. Two diseases, ankylosing spondylitis and ankylosing spondylolisthesis. I was actually braced in eighth grade uh, for three months. And I remember when I went to my eighth grade field trip, I had to, it was like a soft brace, but every time I went through security it would beep off and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. But for three months I was actually braced and that's when we kind of first discovered that I had a broken back. Fun fact about YouTubers is that we're actually, you know, we're short or we're like really, really tall. There's like no in between, it's really weird. Whoa. Ta-da. That looks perfect. Believe it or not, that's like the only, that's like the second thing I have Packers up in my room. I have an Aaron Rodgers, a little plaque over there, but that's about it. All right, but today, I'm not believe this. I want to uh, formally announce my next huge travel, like huge, huge, um, because we're gonna be like one of the first in the world to actually do this. Now before this trip actually happens, I'll probably have some other little micro trips elsewhere, but um, I think you guys are gonna be excited for this. The world's biggest cruise ship, Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas launches next year in 2022. I believe March 4th is the very first sailing and we are going to be 
on that first sailing ever in the world. This is once it launches on the 4th, it will be the world's largest cruise ship ever to sail the seas. And we're gonna be on that. I'm sure a lot of other content creators are gonna be on there. Oops. Me, some of our other friends might be, um, no, I can't say that. I can't just say who is gonna be joining me. <laughs> I'll mute that out. We've got some people joining us. This is going to be my first ever Royal Caribbean Oasis class, which is obviously their biggest class that they ever, you know, that you can sail on in Royal Caribbean. And it's gonna be the biggest ship in the world. We're gonna be on the very first sailing. And uh, we got it booked. I think we have a neighborhood. I think they call it a neighborhood room where we can actually see inside the ship. We didn't we wanted to go a little bit different. Me and whoever else is joining me. Because we always had the balconies. We got to see the ocean, but we never got to see like the inside, like the party atmosphere. It's gonna be a little bit louder, different vibe, but it's something that I've never experienced on the cruise ship because I've never had like a little middle section that goes open to the top like Royal Caribbean is known for. So I'm very, very pumped about that. Let me know down below if you guys are actually gonna be on that ship because a lot of you guys might've booked that. Um, but yeah, wonder of the seas, first ever sailing in March, right before my birthday. My birthday is March 18th and I might go somewhere for my birthday as well. It's a week long cruise by the way and I think it sails out of Fort Lauderdale. So we're gonna have to travel up north. But that is the next big, big, big adventure that we're gonna be going on. Unless something crazy happens beforehand, but that's what I have planned for 2022 and I couldn't keep this to myself. I think I have said on Instagram before and I know I've told some of you guys when you guys come up and talk to me just cause you know, I like to tell you guys things. But yeah, that's our next big announcement or next big uh, travel. And then we just have one more day for tomorrow and you guys will see the big surprise. Cool, I hope you guys are just as excited as I am because I'm super pumped, super pumped. I love cruising, you guys know I love cruising and cruising was a big part of my channel this year and I wanna carry that over to next year as well. I think in next year, anywhere from I don't know, one to eight cruises. We're gonna cruise a lot. We're gonna cruise a lot. Whether whether it's with other people or with myself, we are just gonna go on cruises. Kyle Powell channel shirt design. My name is Adam and currently serve in the military. No way, thanks man. Ooh, wait, it's double-sided. Wait, it's got KP right there. And on the back, we've got that design. Um, speaking of merchandise, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, trust me. We got something that works. Thanks, my guy. Also, Adam, what uh, branch of military do you serve in? Joshua from Boston, Massachusetts. Off. Oh, he sent me a picture of, this is I believe in my old, old apartment. Josh, he sent a zero pin way back in 2019 and I used it for a thumbnail. And he, uh, I believe this is, a, is this a Dumbo? Yeah, this is Dumbo. This won't be the thumbnail, but look at this. Two years later, I'm kind of doing the same thing. Thanks my guy, thanks for sending something again two years later. It's literally incredible. Kind of just shows you how long we've been doing PO unboxings. It's, it's been a ride, it's been a ride. The first PO unboxing I ever had was in 2018. 2018, if you guys were there, let me know down below. That was um, when I lived in Wisconsin when I was graduating from college. Oh, greetings from Vero Beach. Holy cow, this is beautiful. Look at that. How do, how do, how do people contact you? I don't know if this is your business, but I really like that ornament. His name is Tom Shield. Tom Shield. Shop Disney, this might be from the Millsaps. Tale as old as time, true as it can be. Beauty on the beers. Thanks guys. Heck yeah, I think this is the one from this year. This is a part of their legacy collection at Disney. Whoa, this is gonna go on my tree, but this is a glow in the, in the dark. It's like a pin, but it's a pin ornament. You see this, you see that? I'm gonna go hang this. I think this is a really cool gift idea if you think about it, if you like just, you know, hang these on the tree, day of Christmas or Christmas Eve, and then it's someone's gift. That's pretty cool, it's a cool idea. Circling back to when I said that I'm running out of room, problem is where am I gonna go with all this stuff after Christmas? I think I'm gonna have to get some storage unit. I'm wishing Wick Candle Company. Each candle is infused with crystals that corresponds to a particular intention. The Wishing Wick Company. Heck yes, I'm a huge candle guy. It looks like we've got Bliss created to pr promote joy and optimism. Mm. Hmm, you guys wanna smell? <laughs> they smell great. Comment down below if you guys love candles too because I love, love candles. That was from Ashley. Last but not least, we've got the big kahuna. This is from, um, oh, this is from Mark Luna. 
Thank you for all your hard work you do. Enjoy the ornaments. Have a wonderful holiday with your family. With my dad, because he'll be here too. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've got the ultimate ornament care package here. First of all, we have some lovely Haunted Mansion bottle stoppers for some lovely wine. Gotta love that. Ooh, snap. These are from this year. We've got a package of eight Disney ornaments. Thank you so much, Mark. We've got a Groot ornament, a Tomorrowland Speedway ornament with Mickey driving, Steamboat Willie ornament, a Bell ornament, a BB-8 ornament. There's <laughs> just so much and some lovely hangers that I'm going to need to utilize to hang all these. If you guys are curious, this is what my uh, floor looks like after a PO unboxing. This was a rather large one as well. Gotta do some cleaning up, gotta do some hanging up ornaments. Um, follow my Instagram, because I'll be posting a, an update of the tree on Instagram. So thank you everybody for uh, sending me all these gifts. Thank you so very much. <laughs> These videos are always really, really fun to make, especially just to see what everyone sends us. It's literally, it's literally amazing. Well, I'm gonna clean up and uh, I'm going to uh, hopefully work out today. If you guys saw my video yesterday, I'm trying to get back into working out. I've been slacking for like the longest time. I just haven't been in the mood, but I gotta try to get in the mood. But let me know where I should hang this guy because I don't know if he should stay there or not, but I'll see you guys tomorrow with the big old surprise. Trust me, it's great. I'll see you guys. Peace out. Well, we got some bonus footage because cleaning up, I just found that we had one more thing. Oh, Phil, this is from Phil Thompson. So what do we have here? I think this is like hanging lights that you like clip onto a wall. It's like a rope light. That's definitely what it is. Phil, what is this? <laughs> a total of 24 ornaments. That's a lot. You guys rock. I'll be right back, I gotta hang these. Follow the Instagram, I'll post a picture of it on there.